clavicular and a chromioclavicular end field testing. We have two options. We can do a bilateral pincher grip or we can do a double thumb with reinforced hands. Let's do a bilateral pincher grip at the sternoclavicular joint. I'm going to have you put your arm across your chest. Okay, so I can see her clavicle. All right, so I'm going to get close to the SC joint if I can. I'm going to flex my wrist. I've got four directions. So I'm going to take a little bit of a tissue pull. In this case, I'm going to go I to S with a tissue pull. And here's my A to P glide. Here's my I to S glide. I'm going to take the tissue pull the other way. Here's my S to I glide. And then if I can get behind it, I'm going to pull out P to A with my P to A glide. Any pain or tenderness? No. Okay. So I could do that over by the AC joint, or I could use a reinforced thumb, which is what I'm going to use. For the AC joint, it's actually a little bit preferred because I can actually get some counterforce with the, with the fingertips here. So I find the joint line by palpating her clavicle. Here's the back edge of it. Here's, you can actually see her joint line here. That's her AC joint. Here's my thumb over thumb contact. From this side of the table, I'm going to stabilize. I'm going to come in A to P, slide down and come in I to S. Any tenderness there? No. Then I'll come to the head of the table for the other two directions. Again, here's my joint line. There's my contact on her clavicle. There's my stabilization. A little bit of tissue pull. Here's my S to I. And then I'm going to come in slightly behind and come in P to A. Any tenderness there? No. So that would have been the four directions using the double thumb.